M0FXP Hamtech, welcome to my channel. You know what, I've been dabbling quite a lot with the Meshtastic system, a lot of learning. Now, the main thing is, is to not, not to think that these are overcomplicated. They're actually not. You buy them, there's a flash, there's flashing software. You can flash them in about two minutes, you know, literally, and they're ready to go. You select the channel you want to use. You can buy an item that's got GPS or not got GPS and enter your fixed location and they do come with built-in you know these small antennas and, and so this one for example is the Lilygo T-Beam has a built-in GPS and um, this is the very very popular Helltech version 3 but I've added GPS a GPS module dangling down there and the this one here has got the Helltech version 3 inside it no GPS module but I have added a battery and you can buy these kind of batteries for a few pounds and they always come with this this cable to connect it and the connector is on the back so this video today is actually about the an external antenna i've decided to go for now there are several to choose from this is omni directional i didn't want to break the bank so this antenna was 15 pound including the mounting bracket and just literally just going to mount it to a pole outside this window where my shack is and then i paid an extra five pound for this cable i should have got longer really but an extra five pound for this cable, which has the SMA, which will connect once you um, install the correct connector onto your device. So if you look here, you've got this, uh, I forget what they're called now, X, oh, I've come from my brain now, the little connector on the Helltech there and other devices. You can add an F SMA adapter and then that adapter in turn, you can screw it to the to the antenna that I purchased. Very similar cable to what you get with GPS antennas. And it's got an SO, no, it's got an N-type connector here, which is gonna screw straight to the bottom. Cool, that's on there, good. Uh, of this mounted outside. And then I'll stretch the cable in here. And it means that I will always get good signals. I know that even if I just go and stand outside now, and I get them in the shack as well. So look, that's inside the shack. And look, we've got, uh, looks like we've got a GPS lock. I do use a GPS booster, I'll show you that. But even if I'm getting signals on that, imagine what I'm gonna get on this. I just need to work out how I'm gonna, what I'll probably do is add a patch lead in my shack, just a normal patch lead that takes me from inside the shack window to just outside. And then this this is about the right length for where the pole is that I've, that I've got near my shack. This is the GPS booster that I didn't really get from Meshtastic. I actually got it for, all of my ham radios in the shack. It's very weak signal in this shack, thick walls around this. So there's an antenna outside that comes through the window and then it comes to this. Is it just an SMA connector? I don't know if I can stretch it far enough for you to see it. That's the end of the GPS antenna and then it comes to here um, and, and then that gives us a, a boost on our GPS signal. And it, it really has made a difference to all my radios. They're all getting GPS now. They don't get it sometimes straight away. You still have to wait for the lock uh, but radios like the, the new Alens HD2, there's a GPS lock there, I can see straight away. We've got a GPS lock there on that one. And I haven't even, I don't think I've got anything else turned on in this shack. If we try our, um, we've got D74 here, if I turn it on, give that a minute, see if we get a lock. If we look at the Alens HD2, it says GPS, confirm, and then local. See that? We've got a lock there. And if I turn that, you know, that device off, we lose that. To quickly turn on the GPS on the 74 and 75, just press the hash. While we're waiting for that to get a lock, um, the specifications of the antenna are described at, with this one, which is one foot long. It's 2.6 uh, 2 dBi gain. Now with the, there's, they, the same seller is selling uh, another one that's uh, 1.15 long, that's 3.5 dBi gain, and that's only, well, looking at this today, so I don't think, I think that's actually the same price, maybe I should have gone for that one. Um, but oh well, it doesn't matter. And then we're looking at different cable lengths that they do. So yeah, well it makes sense to go for the longer one because you get a better gain. Uh, it's not that much longer. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. and. Um, Gonna put this outside. Yeah, still no lock here with the with the 75. No lock at the moment. Anyway, 
Um, but we'll keep trying. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. Let's um, see where we're, gonna, where we're gonna put the antenna. So that's my disc cone. I haven't thought about connecting it to a disc cone. I'm interested now to know if I would get a signal from that. I'll, I will try it, because remember it covers multiple bands. But then I'm gonna obviously put that up there, just probably just on the side of this pole here, up high. And um, it'll just permanently sit there. I've got my 868 megahertz antenna and Mazzy's here. Mazzy, you like my antenna? I think she wants she thinks it's a stick so yeah otherwise I just got wires out here you can't really see them you won't see many antennas in my house it keeps someone very very happy I could mount something on there I suppose but um, yeah anyway I'll keep it near to my shack so I can uh, uh, just monitor it's you know what's going on with it so thanks a lot bye for now 7-3